Dave Morales travels to New York City to sit down with Ben Affleck and the cast of The Way Back. In the interview, Ben talks about his battle with alcoholism and how it was much like his character. I'm a recovering alcoholic, character's an alcoholic. Uh, there's a terrible grief he goes through that was very hard for me to imagine. Don't forget to click subscribe right below for more backstage interviews with the biggest stars from across the globe. This is Backstage with The Way Back. Great to meet you both. Nice to meet uh, you. Congratulations on just fantastic portrayals. Um, I could feel the emotion. It had to have been. How emotional was this experience? I mean, the characters that you play. And I'm going to dissect that here in a minute. But I, I you kind of looked down and gave me that look of like, yeah, it was, it, it was tough. Yeah, it was. Um, it's raw. You know, these. Uh, Gavin gave us a lot of space to tell our truths through these characters, and we did. <laughs> We really did. <laughs> well, I, I'll dissect it now because, you know, the story obviously we, is centered around somebody dealing with addiction, but the other side of that is the people that are around him. There will be people that will see this film that will see themselves in your characters. I hope so. No, there will be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, your thoughts on that? I mean, 100%. I mean, I, I, I am my character <laughs> in the sense that I was like, oh, I've been this sister friend to many people and um, where I'm like, I want to strangle you. And also, <laughs> how can I help you? Like, I feel so powerless to help you. And also, you know, that codependence, but also like, you know what, screw it. You're on your own. And all, the amalgam of all those emotions and the complexity of all of that when it's like, it's your brother, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, you can't love this out of somebody. They have yeah. to do it on their own. Yeah. And um, Angela and Jack have experienced the same event that they're grieving over, and um, but they've experienced it very differently. And one thing I love about her is that she has chosen herself. And that takes an intense amount of courage. And I, I do hope that, um, Anybody who watches this who is in a situation like Angela knows that they have to choose themselves before they can help anybody else. And sometimes you have to leave somebody to their own devices to be able to keep yourself okay. How did you cool down? Uh, some of the scenes with, with Ben are tough, tough to watch. How do you, yeah, again, I love your facial expressions, <laughs> but how, how do you cool down after a day of filming? something that's intense. Binge drinking. No. Um, <laughs> uh, I, Come on now. But thank you for that. <laughs> uh, I, I was actually didn't, I, I didn't need to cool down for me because I was so exhilarated by, mm -hmm. there, there's sometimes like we have jobs and you know, you show up and you do your best you can at your job. And sometimes it's not even close to a job. And working with Ben didn't feel like a job. It felt like my happy place. And so I would leave work just like, oh, that was just so fun. I love what I do for a living. And I didn't want to cool down from that. That's like, that's the, the hope. I don't know if I have cooled down. I'm still pretty, she's still kind of there, you know? Um, but <laughs> Ben and Gavin and I would always have these like three for hugs, like a little group hug before we would start a scene. So we were all sort of like right in the moment together. Um, all on the same page and then after, you know? And then you just sort of give each other the biggest loving hug you can and then you go home. I was also shooting the morning show simultaneously, so the next day I would go to, to work um, and be a very different person with a very different point of view and that was helpful to just kind of wash away the, the grief. I'm asking everybody uh, to rep their teams. There's a basketball element for this. Oh. Houston Rockets. Chicago Bulls. Got it. Um, I grew up going to watch the SU Orange Men, so that was my childhood. But uh, maybe I'm going to a Clippers game. Are you so going? I think I'm going to go. Good. Okay. They're good. Maybe they're going to be my new team. Rockets are better. Well, I don't know about it right now, but <laughs> <laughs> I know we got to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, sports is a meritocracy as opposed to our world, so it's kind of interesting to be like, wait, the stats and the statistics tell us that this place, this one's better than this one. I know. It's very kind it's of. Not, it's not as subjective as no. ours. Yeah. Ben, it's great to see you, man. Thank you, sir. It's nice to see you, too. Cool. Mom says hi. Give my mom, give your mom my best. I will do that. And uh, great to meet you both. Oh, oh pleasure. What was the biggest challenge? We'll start with you guys. Biggest challenge about these roles? 
The basketball. Yeah. Learning the plays. <laughs> I never played organized basketball, only just like out in it, you know, just outside playing. Um, pick up games. So learning these plays and learning the position of a, a big man. I'm 6'2". I've never played, you know, the post. So learning that and, and learning the plays was probably the, the more difficult part. You looked great. Thank you. Thank you. I was like, I'm a big sports fan, as Ben knows. So I'm like, okay. Team looks good. <laughs> Squad looks good. How good of a coach is he, by the way? Um, they scripted him to be a great coach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they scripted you nah, to be amazing. You yeah. should run for office, because that was a great answer. <laughs> Same question for you, the, the most challenging about this. For me, uh, he already set the basketball, so I'll say, for me, this is my first feature film, so the hardest part for me personally was, I think the schedule and the hours, I've, I've never really had like a job, job, so it's being up for 13, 14 hours in one set, doing the same thing over and over repeatedly again. It was, uh, in the beginning, it was a little, you know, hard, you know what I mean? And plus, especially me, I was 18 then, and being around all these adults, and when I go places, I'm so used to people, like, spoon-feeding me on what to do and how to do stuff, and when I got on set, like, you're a grown man, you know, you gotta be here on time, you can't expect anybody to, you know, be there at every step of the moment, you have to take care of business. So I guess that was kind of the frustrate, the hard part to get adjusted to. They're good. <laughs> I could see why you wanted to work with him. These are good guys. Ben, what did this mean to you personally, this role, this movie, this uh, experience? Mostly what it meant to me was a chance to like, uh, as I've gotten older and as I've had more life experience, uh, I've just kind of been able to get in touch with more of like my feelings and my experiences and be able to express them more. I feel like that and directing have really helped me evolve as an actor. You know, and I'm finding that really interesting now. And, and this was a chance after doing some commercial stuff that was very effects based and, you know, you get green screens and tennis balls and dots in the face. It's, it's very technical. It's not emotional at all, really. Uh, to, to, to do something uh, that was emotionally meaningful to me. Um, and that it was something that I could, I mean, on the one hand, there were things I could relate to quite easily. Like, I'm a recovering alcoholic, the character's an alcoholic. Uh, there's a terrible grief he goes through that was very hard for me to imagine. You know, he's a, this character was a great basketball player. That was never the case with me. Uh, so there were some differences and some similarities. But the thing that drew me to it was, A, the ability to just have some range, do some emotional work, get back to the kind of acting I loved doing. And also, if you're gonna tell a story that has uh, elements in it, like addiction, for example, I think you really don't want to tell a story that's a sermon. You don't want to lecture people. You want to move them and you want to give them hope and inspiration. And the fact that it was an inspirational story, that whether it's an addiction to, to any substance or any activity or, or even just a hardship that you're facing in your life, that with enough hard work and dedication, life can get better. I think that's a really inspiring um, kind of story to tell and that's really what I liked about it. Uh, great to see you again, Thank and you. it's great to meet you both. We're going to start uh, with the basketball element, because there is that to this film. Um, I want to go down the line, and you're going to rep your team. So I'll start. The Houston Rockets. Uh, the Lakers. Oh, okay. Gavin? <laughs> uh, I don't have a team. You can be the Rockets as well. <laughs> um, the Bulls, Michael Jordan, with Michael Jordan. That era. Yep. Okay. Oh, right we're after, going back there. Actually, <laughs> and after they won, you know who won the championships after he left? The Houston Rockets. Oh. Oh. Uh, a lot of bragging going on. Okay. Uh, I, I go there because I want to talk about shooting the scenes with the games. What were the challenges? They looked real. I'm a huge sports nut. They looked, I mean, how did you get the crowd involved? Uh, obviously, the players, the scenes, the shots. What were the challenges for you to get those right? Well, the time we had to shoot them, we were very limited. This was a short shoot. I think we had 35 days to make the movie. so. You know, usually you have more time to shoot um, what I would call action. Um, that being said, I mean, it helped to have kids that can play this, that can play the game. We had enough prep where we choreographed everything, um, and uh, and then I wanted to deconstruct the choreography so it didn't feel like a dance routine. So we did that, and uh, you know, I don't know, just approached it truthfully. It looked real, is what I'm saying. So. In your auditions, did you have to prove that you were a player as oh, well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, well, our first audition was with the casting director, Wendy O'Brien, who's amazing. And then she's like, do you play basketball? And I'm like, yeah, ish. And so. You didn't say ish. 
I think I was pretty confident you about it. You were very confident. Yeah, and so I, I was like, oh yeah, I can ball. Um, like, what else am I gonna say? Of course. You know? So um, then I left that and then made a basketball tape, which I sent, um, and it got the approval from Gavin, and then we had an in-person final scrimmage where I airballed a couple shots, nice. thought I wasn't gonna make the team, and I don't know. I say nice because I think the air balls are the, <laughs> I just like the way they look. Because the everybody always yells <laughs> after you do the air ball. Air yeah. the chant. I don't know if anyone yelled that at me. <laughs> no, no, no. Same question for you, going through the audition process. Um, yeah, I had to prove my, uh, my worth in basketball. Um, did a couple takes with the friends in a, in a local gym, but yeah, we had a good one where I, I, I sunk every shot. Almost. I had, to, I had to miss one intentionally at the end, you know, just so it looked yeah, real. Yeah, bragger there on the end. Yeah. Hear that. <laughs> Kevin, what do you hope the conversation is after people see this film? Because there are a lot of things going on. Obviously, dealing with the addiction issues, the people around that character. What do you hope that people are talking about after they see this? You know, I, I try not to do that because I, I, you know, if you and I go to a museum, we look at a painting, we both have a different experience with the painting. I think it's the same with cinema. I, I, in, Whatever you bring your own life experience to a movie, that can kind of evoke certain feelings and, and then that starts a conversation. So I do think there's a universality to the story vis-a-vis -vis the hope and redemption, even though Jack's journey may be different than other people's journeys.